um, this week, and we want to take a moment and talk about small groups. And so Kyle is our small groups pastor, also kind of a jack of all trades, worship leader, lesbian campus pastor. Um, so Kyle, why don't you give us some information um, on why everyone should want to join a small group? Yeah, so small groups, guys, uh, is a huge part of what we do. Two of our five values here at South Point are centered around small groups. Uh, one is, of course, we're better together. And in a season uh, when life is hard and life is chaotic, even more so than usual, um, you know, there's just something about being together with other people yes. uh, and not just lamenting in the hard times, but experiencing uh, the good and the in-between. And so uh, we really want to gather folks together uh, in, in different groups. We'll talk in a moment about the different types of groups that are available. Um, but what we're going to do today is, is talk to a couple of our hosts and, uh, and hear from them about their perspective. And then we'll come back and talk about how you can get involved and sign up. So let's take a look. Well, good morning. We are here today uh, with some host friends. Uh, we've talked a lot here at South Point that we have a number of small groups, depending on the season, uh, between 30 and 40 different groups uh, for people on every different age, phase, and, and stage of life. Uh, and, and so that would be men's groups, women's groups, uh, groups for couples, uh, singles, co-ed, where, where everybody's together, uh, moms and tots, just really there's almost no limit uh, to, to the type of group that you're going to find at South Point. And the goal is really just to help us uh, connect to each other, connect to God, and, and uh, connect to the scriptures. And so uh, we're going to talk today with two different groups. Uh, the first would be Lauren and Tiffany, and, and they lead a group of uh, women. And Ben leads a, a group, uh, really a collection of groups uh, of men called AIM. And uh, he's going to share a little bit more about that. And so I think it would be great if we can start with Lauren and Tiffany. Ladies, you guys started in a group uh, within the last year or so that was led by Becca. And Becca was featured in our, our small group connect last term. Uh, and she and her husband have uh, gotten orders to Hawaii. We'll pray for them as they go suffer. They had to leave beautiful Southern Maryland uh, for the harsh environment of Hawaii. But, uh, you know, so they have, they have moved on. And you guys really uh, felt compelled to step in and lead and host in this next season. So, um, you know, tell us a little bit about why you decided to do that and some about your group. So uh, I'll start. I really enjoyed being in the group and Becca did a great job. Um, and I just kind of felt that God put it on my heart to contribute a little bit more. Uh, so I thought that stepping in to co-host with Tiffany would be an opportunity to, to do that. And I thought we had a really great group. Um, and I think we will moving forward as just, you know, some women getting together and sharing life. And um, I would say our age group is, you know, early 20s to early 30s. And it's nice because we're all kind of in a similar phase. But then you also get a variety of life experiences. Um, people are single, people are married, people have kids, people don't have kids. Um, so it's just very relaxed and uh, down to earth atmosphere. So it was excited to step in and help out. Great. Tiff? Yeah. So same here. Um, I absolutely loved Becca's group, the way, you know, she was able to bring together all these women from, you know, different places in their lives and um, talk about, you know, one sole subject during the entire small group time that we were together. Um, so close we got, I feel that, you know, we were able to plan a baby shower for Lauren. Awesome. And I think that speaks volumes, you know, to go from not knowing a person at all, you know, a few months back to, you know, being able or wanting to share a beautiful experience with, you know, one of them. I think it means like, you know, we really did grow yeah. while we were there together. And, you know, I'm just hoping that we can, you know, take that further and have other women join us as well from all life stages and kind of grow in our relationship with Christ and grow in our relationship together. Awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, so Ben, over to you. Uh, you know, in this chaotic season, there are, there are people that are different levels of, of comfort and availability. Uh, and you guys have found a way to, to kind of meet the needs and expectations uh, of men in different, you know, kind of aspects of that range. So tell us about AIM and what's going on this season. Yeah, All in Men is a group uh, It's a, of men from different churches and uh, lots of different ages, young men, older men, uh, and uh, all kinds of backgrounds. And so what we've done in the past is we've met in big groups and then broken into small groups. 
uh, at uh, the house of the host. Uh, we really couldn't do that in the spring. And so we met on Zoom for four consecutive weeks. And we had, I think we had up to 35 guys on the Zoom call. Well, now we're at a stage, things are starting to open up. Uh, we're not ready for the big gathering, but we call them meetups. And so October is the season for our meetups. We're going to have four weeks in October. It's either on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night. And they're going to be a small groups. But we also have the online option. I'm going to be hosting the Zoom meeting still. Uh, if someone's farther afield, we had guys come in invited they were call work colleagues from georgia and virginia and so they are they're going to be invited back uh, but if you want to meet as a uh, small group of guys there are i think we're up to nine different locations around southern maryland calvert st mary's uh, mechanicsville down to park hall leonardtown chaptico california uh, wildwood so the the map the website is allinmen.org one word allinmen.org and there you'll find out uh, where we're meeting and what nights we're meeting. Because um, AIM's goal is really to encourage and equip men through fellowship, outreach, and service to walk closely with Jesus and to bring glory to God. And so if we can do that as groups, um, we're going to meet outside. We're going to bring our own camp chair, sit in a driveway, sit on a back deck, uh, bring your own snacks. It's pretty low, mate. You know, this is easy touch. It, we're going to have our masks available if we need them, um, but it's, we're going to try to keep safe and really just provide that opportunity for friendship, but also for faith, uh, to talk about life's contrasts, God's will versus our will, um, what he did, what we did, lots of great opportunities for men to connect. So look to the website allinmen.org and put October on your calendar to meet up. All right. Well, and uh, we forgot to mention that part uh, earlier when Tiffany and Lauren were sharing and uh, yeah, I think they plan to do a hybrid model where some of them are together, some of them are distance, and uh, they'll get together on some weeks, none on others. And uh, we want you to know that, uh, again, regardless of, of where you are on your comfort level, uh, that there's small group opportunities for you in this season. Uh, you can find both of these groups and all the others uh, on our group search. And you can find that at southpointforyou.com slash group search. Well, hey, that was great to hear from Ben and Tiffany and Lauren uh, to hear their experience and, and why they're excited to host in this coming season. Uh, and now it's your turn. So wherever you are today, if you're here in the area or maybe you're even somewhere out of state, um, you can get involved in small groups because there are a number of groups that are gonna continue to meet online. So we'll have online groups. We'll have groups that are gonna meet in person in homes or, or out in public at parks or restaurants. And then there are a number that are gonna be kind of a hybrid where they'll get together maybe once a month, but then also do distance um, or they'll offer both a distance and a uh, in-person gathering. And so all that to say, uh, the best place for you to, to sign up today is at the link that's gonna pop up in your chat, which is southpointview.com slash groups. And from there, we'll reach out and connect you. Now, if you wanna get a head start and look into some of the groups that are available, um, we have a, a searchable database where you can put in your zip code and um, what kind of groups you're looking for, and it'll spit out a couple recommendations. And so you can find that at southpointview.com slash group search. Uh, and so all that to say, uh, sign up on the link that's going to pop in there and we can't wait to connect you uh, to a small group opportunity.